Welcome to the part five of the Blender Beginners tutorial. In this episode, I'm going to reveal the method I use to add material to my model. And also, I'm going to provide all the add-ons which I used to you for free. All I just want from you is to watch the full course and apply to your project. That's how you learn. If that sounds cool, let's get started. When it comes to shading, you have three options. There, BSDF shader, material add-on, or PBR material. Don't get confused, we see them one by one. Let's start with BSDF shader. Here I have a simple sphere mesh. Let's see how to add material to this using BSDF shader. First of all, split the screen into half and just zoom that in so that you can see what's going on. To view the material in your model, you need to go to shading mode by clicking this icon. Now the sphere look white right because it doesn't have any material. Let's add material. Just go to this page and click on this icon. Then select shader editor, press N to hide the side panel. Okay, now select the sphere and move to shader. I hope you can see a menu called new. Press that button. Oops, what was that? Don't panic, this is called BSDF shader. It's a type of node. From here you can add colors by left click on the white rectangle box. It will open up a color picker. You can navigate to any color you want. Then the second option you have called metallic by increase it to max. This will create a metal texture to you model. Now see, it seems like a metal. Under metallic, you have an option called roughness. By bring it down, you notice that your mesh reflect like a mirror. If I turn down metallic, maybe it's kind of looks like a shiny plastic. If you increase roughness slightly, now it gives you realized plastic texture. If you increase the roughness all the way up, there is no reflection. Something like a brick, you can't see any reflection in that. It's kind of makes sense right? To bring realistic metal, not really realistic, but something metallic. You can increase the roughness to 0.2 to 0.3 and increase the metallic to max. Why I not recommended for beginners? First reason is, just see how many nodes are required to create a realistic texture. You need a lot of knowledge to understand how the nodes are interacting with each other, also, you need to dedicate few hours to create material. But I'm not saying that BSDF shader is waste of time. It's powerful and you have more control to your textures. Just have a look at the gold texture I created for my model. It looks insane, isn't it? But you are a beginner. I don't want to push you into learning. Ah, this is noise texturing and you need to plug it to this on and this. Ah, that's really confusing. I have an easy option for you. Just think about this for a second. You can add any simple material with one click using an add-on. It sound effortless, right? Well, that's exactly what I'm going to teach you. Follow my instruction properly. In the previous part, we finished the modeling process. If you want to access all part of my beginner's tutorials, check the link in this video description. Okay. The add-on we are going to use in this video is not a Blender build-in add-on. You need to download it from internet. But no worries, I make that easier for you. Go down the description, you can find material add-on and collection. Just download them all and put in separate folder. Once you've done, go to Edit, Preference, and go to Add-ons. From here, you can see an Install button. Just click that, you go to Blender File Manager. Now navigate to the folder which you downloaded. Select this Keytops free file. Just remember, you don't have to unzip the folder. Now select and press Install Add-on. Within a few seconds, it will be installed to your Blender. Now check this small box. To check if it's installed, press N to open up the side panel. Click the heart icon. Yeah, we installed successfully. But right now, you can't find the materials because you don't installed the package. Shall install them as well? Great. Go back to the preference with our add-on selected Click the little arrow keys. It will open up a customized menu. Now select File Path. This is where you can install the packages. Click the plus button to add separate path. Next, hit the folder icon. Once again, navigate to the folder and select your package. We want material right, so select the free mats folder and click the accept button again one more time. That's it. Save the preferences and close the page. Now you got some materials. 
Are you ready to paint our model? Let's go to shading model. I would like to add black and yellow combination for this robot. First, I start adding material to the legs. So go to the add-on, I'm going to select plastic. Let me pick this yellow material. Select the mesh you want to add color and press add material button. Wait, I think this yellow is kind of dark. How to change it into bright? Let me show you. Go to shading tab. From here, you can see some nodes at bottom. Don't panic. We just need to change color. So tap on the color box. I'm my case, I don't want to change color, so I'm just increase the brightness. Maybe slightly move it to yellow side. Well, that's how easy is it? Next, I think I move to something metallic. Let's pick this dark one. Select this piece and add material. So, this is one I'm gonna do rest of my model, a fast forward here. The head is now joined together. We need to separate into different mesh so that we can add different color. Press tab to edit mode. Now here's a small tip for you if you wanna select all linked face. Select the middle and press Control plus and repeat the process until it you want to. After you selected, press P key to separate into different mesh. Just do the same to bottom. After you finish the work, this is different mesh and this is different mesh. Now select the middle part and add dark metallic material. For top and bottom, it would be the yellow material. For this lens, I would like to do the same process we done to the head. Separate the middle part and also separate the interface. In my point of view, I add something shiny material. For the upper part, it would be the same dark. Maybe yellow would be the best option for the middle face. We need to add material to all the leg? No, instead, what you can do, actually go to viewport and press A to select all and now control and drag only this area. So that remaining part will be selected. Now press X and delete all those models. Again, press A, now control and drag on the head to deselect. Press shift D and duplicate all four sides. After you finish, this is how your model looks like. To take it to a step further, let's add a floor so that our model looks like it's standing on something. Press Shift A and add a plane mesh. Scale it larger. Be careful. Don't let the plane overlapping to our robot. Just move it down. Now, let's add PBR material to the floor. PBR material, which actually stands for physics-based rendering material, you can find many free PBR material from online. The advantage of this is, it's effortless. You can quickly add any complex texturing to your model, but biggest disadvantage is that you need to UV unwrap your model in order to avoid uneven texture. That's why I add PBR to the plane. Now I'll show you how to, to do it. Instead of going to website and searching for a PBR material and then plug it into your BSDF shader node, ah, that's painful, isn't it? I'll make it easy for you. So go down the description, you can find PBR add-on link. Just download it and install into your Blender. Once you enable Blender Kit add-on, you can notice a new toolbar at top. From there, you can switch it into materials. And using the search tool, you can find any material. For example, I search something tech. Look, we got many options. These are all free mats. You can select any one of these. Let me find something very simple. Now what you need to do to add material is very simple. Select your model and just click on the material. Within a few seconds, it will download and add it to your scene. But make sure you have internet connection. In case, if you need any adjustments to the texture, you can modify it by going to shading mode. Don't panic about these nodes. Your job is to find something called mapping. Just click the little arrow key to expand the node. Here I need to make the texture larger. So I increase the value four to all axis. I think three will be a good value. That's it, these are the basic you need to know about shading and texturing.
If you have any doubt or questions related to Blender, shoot a message in my Discord server. So you learn about how to add material and more related to shading. Now the next video will be, any guess?